this video has been made possible by the members of the channel for the month of January. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of My Sims Agents. This is episode 6. We are very close to figuring out about the Nightmare Crown, which we talked about in the last episode, and we have to ask Poppy, who is Poppy Nightshade, um, if she got an invitation to a mysterious will reading where the uh, Orch Knight, which is the crystal that made the Nightmare Crown, um, which is like a power of evil, um, and it's what Morcubus is after, we are going to this party because apparently this crystal is being given to someone at the will reading but we need an invitation so poppy's sister was invited so we're seeing if poppy was invited as well and seeing if we can snag an invitation so without further ado let's jump into this episode and ask poppy about her invitation how's it going poppy i might need your help my help yay okay tatiana So, have you received any invitation in the mail recently for a will reading? That's a very casual question. Um, maybe? I don't know. You don't know? No, that means Derek has been stealing people's mail. We have to deal with this Derek again. We dealt with him, I think it was episode 2. For a couple weeks, I missed two packets from my seed of the Wee Gardening Club. And with the invitation, that's three stolen letters. That's a federal offense. I don't know what that means, but it's super naughty. <laughs> don't worry, Poppy. I'll take care of this. It is super naughty. Poppy's not wrong. I need to ch have a chat with Derek. Where could he have gone to? Hmm. If I remember, I think Derek's in here. I think. We'll, we'll take a quick look. Oh, whoops. We'll take a quick look in here. Is it here? Yeah. Because now we have her. I remember this. <laughs> Looking for me, Agent? You're not allowed up here in Fort Derek. Scram! Good old Derek. So... Oh, wait. I think we have to go to this. Yeah, there we go. We're about to just climb right up there. Like, Derek has no idea what's coming, you know? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot how to jump. Ew. Yeah, that's pretty gross. What do you know about Poppy's letters? Hey, how did you get up here? Cough it up. Why have you been stealing Poppy's mail? Screening duty. Morky Corp says that if I find any useful information, I'm supposed to pass it on to them. I wonder if they're trying to get the invitation as well. Afterwards, I toss them in the woods. Animals can use them if they want them. Ha! I'll have to climb across these branches here to find those letters. Alright. These ones? Oh, I guess these ones. When I was a kid, this used to stress me out, like, ooh. Walking across there. Okay, one letter. Here's one of Poppy's letters. Looks like Derek just tossed the letters back here in the forest. Ooh. The other letters must be further along these branches. Oh, this is dangerous, but we are a professional. In here? Uh-oh, no more letters. Has Mama Bird taken them away? I bet Roxy can analyze the egg and tell me about this bird. Alright. Hey, Roxy, what kind of bird laid these eggs? We gotta scan them. Ooh. Thank you. 
nice. Nice. That's a Canocita or Canocita peekaboo, a bird that likes to build many nests using any materials it can find. The bird must have used the letters in various nests around town. I should ask if anybody has seen any birds. Okay. Maybe the bird took all the... The letters as, like, material for, for the nest? Possibly. Here we go. Don't fall. Nice. Nice. Derek is causing a real mess. Oh, we have a little side mission going on. Things are going pretty slow. So far, we've monitored a few dozen shipments of paper towels. I'm sure they're critically important paper towels, though. Alright. We got some people working for us in the background. Uh, what do you think, buddy? I think we should round up the usual suspects and grill them until they spill the beans. I love how Buddy gives us low-key useless information. Have we been up here? No, I think we have. Whoops. Oh, whoops. I think we have been up here. Alright, there's no nest. Yeah, we have. We've been up here. Alright. Let's go ask if anyone has seen... Some bird's nests. Maybe Poppy? I found one of your letters. Oh, thank you. This is happy and good. There's still more to find. It seems they've been carried away by a mama bird. Have you seen any birds around? Hmm, well, uh, I have seen a cute little bird around the salon. Maybe she has the letter. Alright. We know the salon. Right here? Let's ask. Hi, Shirley. Have you seen any letters? No, but there's some racket going on up on my roof. Sounds like animals. Have you gone up to check it out? It might have something to do with my case. Oh, hun, you, you're so kind. These old knees could never climb up there, but you could probably make it. Go down the street outside the construction site and look for some crates to hop onto the roof. Alright. Definitely a bird's nest up there. Okay, we're gonna have to climb all of these buildings. Uh, uh -huh. All right. How can I get up to Shirley's roof to find the source of the animal noises? Okay. I think we'll just head over here. And jump up. Nice. Uh. Oh, <laughs> almost fell. Okay. Oh, pulled out my machine by accident. Oh, the perspective change kind of threw me. All right. Here's one of Bobby's letters. Looks like one of the letters ended up in this nest on top of Shirley's salon. We have one more to find. Maybe it's on Gino's roof. I feel like that's plausible. Oh. <laughs> I found this letter on the roof in a nest. Fabulous. So now the noise from those animals will stop. There was a mama bird making a nest on the roof of your salon. She was using the envelopes from Poppy's mail. I'm trying to track them all down. I see. Well, hun, thank you kindly. Hmm. I feel like there might be one on Gino's roof. I might just straight up look on Gino's roof. We've been here before. Okay, there is none. There's none on Gino's roof. Maybe the mayor? That's another roof we could go to. Well, we have the second one regardless. Oh, we shouldn't... Shouldn't talk. Maybe there's one over here. Oh, we just got a message. We have to wait here all day. They're still doing a stakeout. They're staking out Morgue Corp for us. Alright. Maybe there won't be one up here. But maybe there will. 
I know we climbed up here for the mare before. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything there. Oh, where else could it be? Let's check our notes. We just gotta keep asking around. Okay. Well, we'll ask around. Maybe we can ask. Oh, maybe this newsstand guy. Have you seen any birds outside the forest? Yes, I have. Over the construction on the construction site. You could check with Patrick. Oh, on the construction site. That is very useful. Let's ask Patrick. Oh, all the way up there. And it does look like Patrick's aware they're there. <laughs> I should ask Patrick about that bird's nest. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick, can I get up to that bird's nest? Bird watching, eh? You'll be able to crawl your way up the construction site if you manage to turn on the crane. How can I do that? Well, you'll have to do a bunch of things. First, you'll need to find my crane keys. Where are they? I forgot. I'm sure I put them somewhere safe, though. Where would Patrick put his crane keys around here to keep them safe? Probably in this, assuming the trailer. Some old letters and papers. A safe? Patrick wouldn't have locked his keys inside his safe, would he? Dude, he might have. Alright. Because he would have thought it needs to be safe, you know what I mean? I can truly see Patrick doing that. Because Patrick, you know, it just wants to be safe. Now to see if Patrick locked his keys in here. He did. <laughs> Looks like Patrick's key ring. I should let Patrick know I found his keys. That's so funny, Patrick. Alright. Okay, I got the keys. What next? Great work, sport. Now you'll need to power up the crane. How would I do that? The generator is in the basement of the building over there. You just need to flip it on. Great, thanks. I've got to activate the generator in this half-constructed building. In here? Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, in the basement. This? Oh, yep. Hmm, this doesn't look as simple as Patrick made it sound. I'm going to have to hack through a security protocol. What? Okay, this thing always sends me. Oh, oh my, it got stuck. Please, please. I did not. Okay, I made too many mistakes. Oh, it's starting us from here at least. Okay. Gotta be more careful. Oh. Okay. Okay. That should do it. The power is getting to the crane now. That was better. That was a little better the second time. I should tell Patrick that I turned the power on. Okay, I powered up the crane. What now? You'll need to fix the control panel. I got- it got struck by lightning, sport. Where's the panel? Up that ladder? Sure is, sport. You'll probably need to salvage a bunch of vehicle parts to fix it. Good to know. Thanks, sport. <laughs> ha! I'm no sport. Sport? You're the sport. Patrick might need a chill. I don't know. Patrick might need a chill. I should run around Main Street and salvage from all the vehicles. 
Do you think anyone's gonna mind that we just start salvaging from their cars? It might be, I don't know, suspicious. There seems to not be anything in there, but... Oh, we need a decision for our... We reached a critical point in our stakeout. Someone at the warehouse seems to have ordered pizza. Should we stop the driver and check the delivery, or catch the driver on the way out to question him? Uh, check the pizza. Give it a quick check, I would say. Alright, let's salvage the cars. Okay. Any more cars? I think that's like the- oh, nope, there's one here. Is there another one? It says two of six? I did not remember these cars being here when we just ran by. Maybe I just wasn't looking. I may not have been looking, honestly. Can I get from this? Oh, I can. Okay. I know there's a truck back here for sure. I saw it. Yeah, there's this car and a truck. Okay. Alright, nice. All six. That's all the spare parts I need to fix the console at the top of the crane. We'll run on back. We are professionals after all, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of cool coming back to the town where we started from episode one. It's kind of cool how it weaves the story together. Alright, I gotta climb this place. Or this thing, not this place, well, technically we have to climb the whole place, but let's get this working. Oh, every single puzzle. Oh. Oh my. Okay, we are there and Okay. Okay, that's working. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Cross. That makes sense. Now I should be able to get up to that bird's nest. Can I jump from here? No. Alright. Climb up the building. I think that should be enough. Hmm, maybe not. No, it's good. Oh. Oh. Oh, one goes here. like that little thing I can slip through there. Bad news. We blew our cover. The peep. Oh. 
We shouldn't have interrupted the pepperoni pizza. Well, we might have to do that level again with, with our, uh, oh, our side crew there. There's a wind blowing me, whoa. I love how I'm allowed to just scale this dangerous construction site. Like, Patrick was like, yeah, whatever, like, you can scale it, as long as you get the whole thing working for me. Oh, the wind, oh, the wind is <laughs> taking me out almost. There we go. Third letter. Here's one of Bobby's letters. One of the letters was in a nest on top of Patrick's construction site. I'd better let Poppy open her letter so I can get a look at that invitation. Can I, uh, could I have jumped down from there? Can I just let myself fall? What would happen? Oh, I just go to the next place. Okay. Like the next. Oh. <laughs> I'm really almost falling, like actually. That wind is actually like. All right, there we go. Can I just go from here. I can't. I really can't jump down. Oh, whoops. There we go. Let's go show Poppy in the mail. Hopefully we can snag an invitation to the will reading at the mansion. All right, Poppy, I got all your letters. Case closed, Poppy. Yay! I recovered all of your mail, including that dinner party invitation. Neat. Listen, can I use your invitation? I need to look for a special crystal at the will reading. It's important. Sure thing, Tatiana. I wasn't going to go anyway. You weren't? Violet said it wasn't a good idea. Oh, that's her sister. She told me that some of, of the people there might be bad people. She did. Interesting. Well, I'll keep an eye on her for you. Thanks, Tatiana. Don't let the bad people get you. Okay, Poppy. Now I'd better get this invitation back to HQ. Are you going to fire up the jet? I am. Yay! <laughs> oh, Jenny called. She has, says there are new clients that need help. All right, and we got a trophy, and we got an agent outfit. Oh, better go check that out. So that's interesting. Poppy's sister Violet Nightshade said bad people are going. Don't show up, Poppy. Probably because Poppy's such a ray of sunshine. Oh my gosh, we failed the mission because I had them look at the pizza. That's embarrassing. Okay. <sighs> I guess I'll have to make sure they don't look at the pizza the next time we try that one. Ooh, we got an evening gown. And a blue suit. Perfect. A cow-themed top hat and a monocle. Hey, now we're gonna... Okay, you can spy a little less in my way, please. Alright. The results of the mission. It was bad. Alright, let's send them on an easy one-star mission. There we go. All right, let's get changed for the party. We need to look a dapper. Where would this be? Straight clothes? Actually, I kind of want to see our new agent outfit that has a badge on it. Okay, no dress. It said it's a red dress. I'm assuming it's like the one Evelyn's wearing. And we need to be ready for this party. We need to look the part of the party. They can't know we're detectives. Or agents, sorry. Oh. Yes. Hmm. We're gonna have to change our hair. 
we'll keep our clothes. Oops, I think I just exited out of it. We gotta put our hair in a really cute updo. Really cute. That's the vibe we're going for. No, we need to change the hair. It's a must. It is a requirement. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's an absolute requirement. Hmm. This one, and what if we dyed her hair black so they didn't know it was us? Oh my gosh. Undercover. Look at us being undercover. They'll never know it's us. They'll never know it's us. It really feels like really feels like in movies where they put on the wig and it's always a bob cut like that. Hello, it's me. Undercover Tatiana. Hey Evelyn, hey Tatiana, what's up with Derek stealing mail? He Was he looking for something or is he just a jerk? Um, he's just a jerk, but he was also looking for something. Oh, dispatch missions, let's go to the jet. We look so undercover right now. Like, we actually look undercover right now. Um, buddy, maybe you should have changed. We're going to an event. Like, come on. Come on, buddy. We're undercover. Hey, I heard Cyrus mansion Cyrus's mansion is down in the bayou. So I don't know if I'm up for this, Tatiana. I've got too much to do already. I'm swamped. Oh my <laughs> The dots, the way we just didn't answer, buddy. Okay, buddy, dress. You are dressed so obviously an agent. Oh, it's an actual swamp. <laughs> oh, it's a mysterious mansion. Good evening, friends. Oh my. <laughs> God. Yeah, I get that a lot. May I see your invitation, please? <laughs> of course. I see. Right this way, Poppy. <laughs> Do you have any bags I can take? No, we don't. Good. That lady in the yellow dress brought so much luggage, I thought my arms were going to fall off. <laughs> Not the arm falling off. Oh, great. The others have already arrived. Madame Zoe was just about to begin. Right this way, please. Oh. Interesting cast of characters. I'm telling you, Trevor, he's going to leave the fortune to me. Nonsense. Dear Cyrus would only entrust that powerful crystal to me. They say the fortune can show your future. Or Fortunite can show your future. What exactly are you hoping to see, Trevor? Oh, nothing. I just need the crystal as a prop in my new play. Trevor finds the crystal. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You're a ridiculous man. Darlings, if I get the crystal, I will use it for something worthwhile. For seeing new fashion trends. Now, oh, sounds like these people only came to the will reading to get the Fortunite crystal. So this Fortunate Crystal powers that crown. Isn't that why we're here? Yeah, but no one knows that. I'm obviously blending it. Oh, that must be Poppy's sister back there. You know, oh yeah, this is Violet. You know, there's more to this estate than just the crystal. This is Bon. Everyone is here. I don't know if that's how you say that. I just kind of said what I thought it said. Carl looking like me if I don't sleep, actually. Look at that. Thank you all for accepting my invitation. As you know, we have gathered tonight to read the will of my great uncle Cyrus. Soon we will know who among us will inherit uncle's estate. Wouldn't it be you? You're the niece. But first, we eat dinner. Yes, sir. Dinner is planned. But before that, we shall adjourn to the crystal room. I wish to hold a reading with all of you. Hmm, interesting. If you would please follow me to the crystal room, we may begin. 
Eek. Madame Zoe, what happened? It's gone. Oh, Tatiana, it's terrible. The crystal's been destroyed. Oh, my. Well, at least Marky Corp can't get it. That's not good. We must tell the others right away. I mean, did you break it? What's going on in there? We heard a scream. I hope no one's in danger. Don't worry, everyone. Tatiana's in there right now. I'm sure everything is fine. Well, it looks like someone snuck in there and smashed the fortune tonight. What? Everything is not fine. It is not fine at all. Oh. No, this can't be. Oh, no, this, this can't be. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I know you're only here for the crystal. I don't know how this happened. I understand if you want to leave. Our prize lay shattered on the floor. Upon the floor, I see no reason to stay. I don't think it's a good idea for anyone to leave the mansion until we figure out who smashed the fortune tonight. Hmm, who could it be? I can't believe it's gone. Violet seems to have like an emotional connection to the person. I should probably start by investigating the scene of the crime, the crystal room. I mean, it almost feels like um, the one who found it, the niece like broke it. I don't know. Pieces of the crystal are dented like someone had used a tool to be able to break it. Would any of the guests know about the Properties of Fortune Night? Ooh, they'd have to know. Can't tell if this clock thinks it's 10.15 or 3.50. Yikes, it sounds like some parts are missing. Hmm. Hmm, that's odd. The soot in this fireplace seems disturbed, as if someone scuffed it with his foot. Footprints. It's like like lady footprints, because they look like a heel. Well, anyone could be wearing a heel, to be honest. I found some female footprints, but I don't know whose they are. I'll need to find someone who knows fashionable shoes. Probably the fashion designer. <gasps> There's more sets of footprints. Okay. This set. Decision for our the team you sent me is at a, in adequate physical condition, but they certainly need to work on their posture. Hmm, I suppose it'll have to do. Okay, at least hopefully they don't fail that mission. <laughs> okay, these footprints. Okay, one foot's like not showing up. Do you see that? One foot barely shows. Okay. Oh, these footprints go all the way outside. Do you think someone's like hiding out? Oh, the suspect must have stopped off at the toolbox. I wonder where he came from before that. What's in this toolbox? It's a locked toolbox. The name Carl is scratched on the top. <gasps> Let's pick the lock. Did Carl destroy it? Oh, I've made a big mistake. Okay, let's restart this. wrong again. There we go. What's in here? The tool chest contains a hammer, some screwdrivers, and other various tools. Alright, let's keep looking for these footprints. 
The footprints come from the swamp. I can't track footprints underwater, but I bet the trail continues somewhere on the other side. Okay. We have our little second mission. Huff, huff, you. You know, nothing beats a good stack of books. Okay, they're good. They're doing good helping with the books. What is that bubbling? Who lives here? I can break in. Nice. stuff for our house or for well not our house but for her. old mushrooms are delicious but many are toxic never pick them without my trusty horticulture book in hand oh we're getting like bonus stuff for our hq like furniture and stuff yay okay i think this is just like a secret place i don't know that it's involved let's keep looking for fo oh they're here too They leap back inside? Oh my. I feel like these must be Carl's. Like they're Carl, Carl colored, you know what I'm saying? The trail ends at the dumbwaiter. Maybe I could force it open? I wonder if I can force this open. Let's see. I don't think it came on. Man, I can't even F space it open. Since the dumbwaiter doesn't work, I'll need to determine if the identity of whoever left these footprints some determine the identity of whoever left the fo these footprints some other way. Hmm. Carl, may I check your shoes? Oh, this is so awkward. What is it? If I lift my foot too far off the ground, it may fall off. Hmm, well we can't have that, can we? <laughs> I need to get Carl's footprints, but this kitchen floor is too clean. He isn't leaving any footprints. Can I get the floor dirty? Not us? Okay, let's try it. This jar holds enough jam to spread over a large area. Oh my gosh, we're gonna like... <laughs> Maybe Carl will step in it. Now I just need to get Carl to step in the jam. Hmm. Oh my gosh, our team members dropped some books. <laughs> I hope they don't fail that vision. Um, I'm hungry, Carl. Could you make me something about the crystal? Tell me about the crystal. Oh, Cyrus took such good care of it. It was always locked safely in that room. Did he ever let anyone in? I, as butler, was tasked with taking care of it. I would clean it. Oh man, I'm getting tired. And make sure it was safe. Do you know how much about Fortunite? What could shatter the crystal like that? No, I don't know. If you want to know about Fortunite itself, you should probably go talk to Gordon. Thank you, Carl. Gordon knows about the properties. Fortunate, which is not, that's Trevor. Where's Gordon? Is there an upstairs? Appears that someone's locked the, locked the door, maybe I can open it somehow. Hmm. Is there somewhere else? What about this door? Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> What do you know about Fortunate? I know a good deal about its properties. <gasps> Someone who knows how to destroy it? Was there specific information you wanted to know? I was looking for information on what could break a Fortunate crystal. Ah, that information is kept in the authoritative Fortunate reference book, Fame and Fortunate, a complete reference. Do you have any a copy on you? No, but Cyrus had a rare first edition copy of it in a cardboard box at the top of the library. 
Thanks, Gordon. The Fortunite book is at the top of the library in a cardboard box. I need to climb up there to read it. Okay, we gotta find the library. Tell me about yourself, Violet. I don't like to talk about myself. Could you at least tell me anything about how you knew Cyrus? I don't like to talk about my past. Okay, Violet, I guess I'll leave you alone. Violet is reluctant to share her past. Why? Can I locate more information about her around the mansion? Oh, suspicious. An ancient hearth that seems only fire so okay. This cabinet must are expensive. I don't know how to say that. This is a statue of. Oh. We stole it. <laughs> An apothecary cupboard of strange potions and macabre recipes or something. No fine dining room should be without. The woman in this elegant bus looks over her surroundings with a sternly snooty gaze. Both the value and the creepiness of this expression as painting cannot be mustered. Hmm. What's this? Interesting. A magazine with an article about the mansion. Wait a second. That's a picture of Violet with Cyrus. Violet seems to have a definite connection to Cyrus, as noted in this magazine, but she's reluctant, reluctant to go into details. Oh. Oh. Alright, I think we have to find the library, and we also have to get thing, that guy to step in the jam. Being in the library totally reminds me of one time I was in detention. First I didn't know the other kids there, but then we all became friends. We played practical joke on the principal. Seems like that mission's going well. Let's see what this room is before we get Carl to walk in. Oh, it's locked. Oh. I was for sure just gonna, like, break into it, but she, she took a minute to look at it. Uh, okay. Grab it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is the library. I think this is the only other room we hadn't been in in the mansion. Oh, it's up there. Is that everything? Don't step on it. I want this. We gotta get the bonuses. Nice. Cookies. Piano. An ant farm. No way. <laughs> we would be very hurt, I think, if we fell off that. Okay, we have a decision to make for our secondary mission. Tatiana, I'm in a bit of a quadri. It's already two hours before dawn. We still have to feed pickles and porks, but there are still 10,000 books that need stamping before the library opens. What shall I have your team do? Well, don't let the pigs not eat. Like, they need to eat. What am I trying to do here? According to this book, the only thing strong enough to damage the fortunate crystal is a silver hammer. I need to analyze the hammer in the toolbox, oh, the one we found, to see if it's made of silver. Because then it's kind of making Carl look guilty. Because it's Carl's footprint all over there. Let's get Carl's footprint. Okay, we're just gonna fall. <laughs> oh, why can't I move this? 
This thick volume detailing the intricacies of weevil breeding seems like an interesting read, but not helpful to my current problem. Oh, maybe it's so if we fell here, we could get back up easy. I think that's what that's for. Okay. Let's get Carl to step in that jam. Oh my, did we fail? Oh, we'll get the little piggies gobbled down their slop. Who's a pretty piggy wiggy? Yes, you are, my little piggles. <laughs> Maybe that was a voicemail, but we weren't supposed to receive, you know? One of those. Okay, I think we asked Carl to make us food. I think that was the other option. I'm hungry, Carl. Certainly, it would be my pleasure. How about a sandwich? That sounds great. Thanks, Carl. When Carl steps in that jam, his footprints will be easy to find. Did he step in it already? He did. These footprints from Carl match the footprints in the crest room that puts Carl at the scene of the crime. I should talk to Carl about this evidence since it makes him a likely suspect. Okay. This man is running from me right now. Oh. He's, he's, he's involved. Why is he running from me? Your footprints put you at the crime scene. Well, yes, I'm often in there to clean the crystal, or just to check on it. You're one of the few suspects with access to the crystal. You certainly had opportunity to smash the crystal. But I didn't. I would never smash the crystal. Why would I want to destroy something I've been protecting for years? I'm not sure. It does seem out of character, but this doesn't look good for you, Carl. Who here could help me discover Carl's motivation? Let's ask around. Trevor, I could use your help. Is the investigation going well, my good detective? I think I've got a suspect, but I'm just not sure about the motive. Motive? Why, if you need to search deep into the hearts of your audience, the only way is to put on a play. A play. Indeed, a reenactment of the crime for all to see. Thanks, Trevor. That's certainly an option. Reenacting the crime may drive Carl to a confession. I'll need a costume first. So, should I talk to Miss Nicole? Probably, but let's go check this hammer. Are we about to put on a play and traumatize this, this poor little Carl? Like, <laughs> Alright, let's check the hammer. It's really pointing to Carl, though. Roxy, can you analyze this hammer? I need to know if it's made of silver. Alright. This is by far the one that I have the most trouble with. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's a silver hammer. What's more, I found traces of some kind of crystal on it. Oh my gosh, it was in Carl's locked box. Forensic analysis has proven that Carl's hammer is made of pure silver. This is the instrument used in the crime. Alright, let's go put that play on. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him, for sure. Okay, we need to talk to the costume designer. Uh... Yo, Trevor is falling apart. In here? Okay. Um, can you help me make a costume? Oh yeah, I have a question about women's shoes. We never asked this. Oh, you'd like my fashion expertise, eh, darling? Certainly. I found some footprints in the crystal room that came from a woman's shoe. Square heel, big arch, and pointed toe. Sound familiar? Ah, those gar- how garish. These belong to Madame Zoe. No doubt, she has the foulest sense of fashion. Oh my lord, does Zoe have a reason for her footprints being in the crystal room? Well, yeah, didn't she like find the broken crystal? Oh my gosh, we passed the secondary mission. Do you see this? Well, I certainly had my doubts, but your team managed to complete their assignment without burning the library down. Hmm, I suppose miracles really do happen. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay. Can you help me make a costume? Why, of course I can, darling. I always bring a sewing kit with me. A costume of whom, exactly? Of Cyrus, if possible. 
Certainly, but I'll need some fabric. If you could find me something purple, I could make you Cyrus's favorite tuxedo. I'll see what I can find, Miss Nicole. Where can I find something made of purple cloth? Hmm. Okay, we can't talk. Purple cloth. Can we use, like, curtains? Can we interrogate Zoe about... I found your footprints at the crime scene. I was there, in there preparing for my reading when I found the shattered crystal. That's why my footprints are there. Hmm, okay. Thanks, Zoe. Zoe's footprints are all over the crystal room and her alibi seems a little weak. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's definitely not weak. Okay. Is there anything in here? Could we use this? Do you think they'll let us rip this up? Because I remembered these were here. Let's see. No way. We just... <laughs> ha, these curtains are cloth. Hope no one minds if I borrow them. Now, as Miss Nicole... Can Miss Nicole make them into a costume for the play? Cloth acquired. I better give it to Miss Nicole to make a Cyrus costume. Oh my. Is that violet on here? Weird. This is a portrait of a messenger I saw once. Oh. I'm gonna be looking like Miss Violet. Morcubus. Why would Cyrus have a portrait of Morcubus in his house? I didn't know that Barney knew Cyrus. I wonder if they were related somehow. Looks like a relation of Roxy's. A grandmother, perhaps? Um, Cyrus knows everybody here. A little sauce? Just a little bit sus. Alright, let's get that costume made. Here's some cloth. Well, it's not exactly Italian silk, but I suppose I can whip something up. Here you go, darling. One tuxedo that just screams, I'm wearing a tuxedo. Cyrus was well known for his flamboyant mustache, so I'll need one as well. I bet Trevor has experience with fake mustaches. Ooh. What do you know about fake mustaches? On my way in, I spied some wisp, wispy weed out in the swamp that would certainly make for a fine mustachio of wonders. Okay, mustachio of wonders. Got it. I need to find enough wispy weed in the swamp around the house to fashion a mustachio of wonders. <laughs> What's wispy weed? This? Hmm. The storm must have knocked the tree down. What's wispy weed? There was an arrival here. Two people, one stunning, the other foppish. I can tell by the way this leaf is bent. We cannot tell that we're lying. Where's this wispy weed? Is it this? This flower? Oh, okay, it's that flower. Okay, there's a few here, actually. I didn't even know we'd go back here. This place is pretty creepy. I feel like something's watching my every move. Pretty creepy. Okay. There's one up there. Can I use this? Ah, I can. Oh, I can get all the way up there. Wispy weed. I just need one final element. Something create a subtly ghostly pallor. I wonder where I could find something white with some white fluffy powder. Is that an alligator down there? It's so cute. What's a shiny object stuck in the crack of this bark? Oh, a firefighter outfit. Okay. Just got in the water. Don't know if that was safe. Hmm. Something to make me pale. No. No. Maybe violin? Or flower in the kitchen or something? No. Hmm. Maybe something in the kitchen. Oh. 
I wonder what's inside this crate. Hmm. It's like a flower. Oh, okay. I got everything I need. I should report in to Trevor and get this place started. This is, we're wild for this. We're gonna cause like emotional <laughs> distress on purpose. I'm ready. Indeed, you have a tuxedo, a grand mustache, and a stack of flour to give you that ghostly pallor. Or paler? Pallor? I'm not sure. Now, let us launch our ruse, wherein we'll catch the conscience of the crowd. Attention, everyone. Can everyone gather around, please? How come Violet never questioned why someone came as Poppy? Unless Violet didn't, wasn't there to hear us be announced as Bobby. What's this all about, Tatiana? Buddy and I have been investigating the mansion, and we would like to hold a little reenactment. You have some insight into what happened to the poor tonight? Yes, using scientific investigative investigation methods, we discover, we've discovered some clues that have allowed us to recreate the events of the crime as accurately as possible. Hiya, pals. I'm Cyrus's ghost. <laughs> Woo! I'm playing the part of the Fortunite. Tatiana, what have you done to the suit I made you? Sorry, Miss Nicole. Solving mysteries is messy work sometimes. Sorry! Whatever for, darling. I love it. <laughs> I will call this new look Spirit by Nicole. <laughs> okay, let's just proceed with the reenactment. Wow, you sure are valuable, Fortunate Crystal. I'd sure better give you to somebody else now that I'm dead and stuff. <laughs> I am shattered. <laughs> oh no, pal, my crystal. Good thing my ghost was here and I saw who did it. It was... You. Oh my gosh, Carl's crying. The end. That was the second worst play I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, well, we got Cyrus's suit, and we have new missions. Carl seemed much more disturbed by the fake ghost of Cyrus than anyone else. Surely his guilt has gotten the better of him. I feel like that is not 100%, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I should go tell Zoe about the results of my investigation. We traumatized Carl, so we think it's him. <laughs> I solved the case. Wonderful, Sherry. Do tell. Attention, everyone. Our friend here has some important news for all of you. The investigation has been going well. We followed... A number of leads, and we've come to a conclusion. It looks like Carl smashed the Fortunite crystal. It was the zombie? I have starred in 27 different plays where the butler did it. How did I not see this coming? No, I, w I wouldn't. Cyrus was my friend. Carl, I am shocked at this betrayal. You have destroyed a priceless treasure and ruined everyone's evening. Why won't you listen? Oh, what's the use? Carl. I feel like we've also accused Carl. Buddy, I'll be right back. So, do we have dinner now, or... <laughs> now we say goodnight. I'm sorry to have wasted all of your time. Thank you for bringing this terrible matter to a close. Oh dear me, he's crying. Violet, you know it wasn't me. Cyrus and I have been friends since before the Nightmare Crown incident. I know, Carl. To think of all the research Cyrus and the others did, all they sacrificed, and now... Carl, it's not your fault. Hmm. Oh, we can just get in there. 
Tatiana, you don't really believe that Carl destroyed the Fortnite, do you? Hold up a second. How on earth did Carl just use that dumbwaiter? I couldn't get anywhere with it. Oh, he has some special trick for it. I'm sure if you fiddled with the dumbwaiter's gears, you could get it working again. So if I go up in the dumbwaiter, I'll find Carl? Probably, but this is a very old house. It's filled with secret passages, you know. Really? Interesting. Alright, Violet, I'm gonna keep investigating. Perhaps there is another secret entrance into the crystal room. I should go back and investigate further. Probably, probably at the fireplace where there was like disturbed soot. I should fix the dumbwaiter and use it to get to Carl. Hmm. Time to find out why Carl did this. Carl kind of didn't do this. Hmm, that's hot. The suit in the fireplace seems disturbed if someone scuffed it with his foot. Can we not, like, search this? This trail of winged gargoyles is probably meant to protect the crystal. I wonder who saw it here last night. Okay, it seems like there's... We'll just go see Carl. I'm so sure that fireplace moves. Because the soot being disturbed makes no sense. Because the footprints didn't go there as far as I remember. Where? I shouldn't get lost on these rafters before speaking with Carl. Oh, there's a little door here. Carl, why did you break the crystal? I don't know, Tatiana. To be honest, I don't even remember breaking it. How can you not remember? Your hammer was used and your footprints are all over the room. I just haven't been sleeping well lately. It's these, it's those voices. Whoa, 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 voices? Tell me about the voices. They're like whispers. I hear them at night. It's like the moon is telling me things. Things about Cyrus and Fortunite. And where do these voices come from, Carl? At first, I thought it was coming from my heating vent, but now I know they're coming from inside my head. Carl, tell me about that vent. I'd like to check it out. Oh, it comes into my room through the rafters. It goes almost all the way up to the roof. I should check out the rafter area outside of Carl's room. Yo, someone is telling Carl to destroy the thing. Someone is telling Carl to destroy it. Hmm. Someone who knows the house. Yeah, see? Someone could be whispering in there. Is that a Morgue Court box? Hmm. Oh, this is above the library. Is it this way? Oh, I almost fell. That would have been so bad. Uncle Cyrus sure did store lots of stuff up here in the rafters. I wonder what's in here. Oh. Oh, a vase. Oh. 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 The bats are freaking my girly out. Got a box down there. That's okay. I mean, I feel like. What is this? If Violet warned Poppy, does Violet know? You found a feather. Oh my gosh, did Zoe do it? 
The vent carries my voice into Carl's room, making it sound mysterious and spooky. This is where the voices are coming from. The feather must be from whoever was whispering to Carl. Did it fall from his or her clothing? I bet Miss Nicole would know. Looks straight like something from uh things headband. Zoe's headband. We got video games, we've got an arcade machine. I mean, I do not want to jump down this whole thing. Why can't I just jump down the house? Like, If I fall, does let me go to the end? Yo, Thing is in the library. Did you see down there? Thing is in the library. Oh, no, this is actually not above the library. This is above the main... Oh. This is above the main um, room. See? Down there. I'm not even paying attention. It, uh, it's down there. This is the main foyer, foyer uh, beneath us. I thought it was the library, but it's the main foyer. Hmm. I think this is where the other box is. Okay. Let's open this one. I think that's everything up here. Suit of armor. Yo, it might be Zoe. Oh, should I probably tell Carl? <laughs> I just straight up left. Okay. Where is Madame Nicole? There you are. Yeah, look, it's the same as the one on Zoe's hat. Um, Miss Nicole, do you recognize this feather? Yes, of course, those old things. They must belong to Madame Zoe. I need to have a talk with Zoe and figure out what she might have been doing in the rafters. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Certainly, Mon Cherie. Whatever I can do to wrap up this case quickly and forever. Um, you seem awfully eager to get me out of here. This case is solved. I do not understand what need there is to continue investigating. Or perhaps you'd like everyone else out of the house for some reason. A reason involving the fortune night or the will? If I had just wanted everyone to leave, I could have simply hypnotized them. Just like you to hypnotize Carl to switch the crystal? That's ridiculous. What would I have to gain from hypnotizing Carl? And why would I want the crystal destroyed? We can talk about the why later. But you certainly would have been able to hypnotize Carl, no? Well, yes, I must admit that I do um, have those powers, but I would never use them on Carl. Never. We'll see, Madame Zoe. I believe in facts, not nefarious, sputtering fortune tellers. Zoe is an expert hypnotist. She was in the attic and could have hypnotized Carl into smashing the crystal. But why? Hmm... Alright, let's check our notebook. Other ways in. Perhaps there is another secret entrance into the crystal room. I should go back and investigate further. Mm, what about the clock? Mm, the clock's hands are stopped, but I can hear a faint whirring inside. Maybe I should take a closer look? There's something odd about the broken clock in the crystal room. I need to find some spare parts to fix it. Don't I have some? Oh, we need five? Okay. <laughs> Just start taking them from stuff in the house. Okay. Can I take them from these? No. Has to be something mechanical. I think there was a thing outside. I saw Buddy standing at this thing. Nice. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else mechanical out here. Maybe in the kitchen? Like the stove and stuff? Okay, the stove. Oh. Three of five. The fridge? Okay.
Okay, we need one more. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. What could the last thing be? Something in the library, maybe? Oh, the clock? Nice. Okay, we got five. I've got all the parts I need. Now I need to get back to the Chris room, clock, and poke around inside. See what's in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to read you this. For me, anyway. Some of you might have figured it out already. gonna move for sure. See, I knew it. There's a secret passage behind the fireplace of the crystal room. I should explore it. Explosive barrels, I better keep my distance. 
explosives. Why? This is a perfect place for fine art. Isn't that like a copy of the other one I saw? Another secret passage. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? We are going somewhere and doing something. Uh. A bunch of notes regarding the fortunate crystal. Who put these here? Whoever, like, destroyed it. The shaft must have collapsed at some point. It's all blocked up tightly now. Yo, where are we going? A mysterious trunk. It's locked up tight, too. Okay. It's a trunk full of fortunate crystals. That seems important. Possible. I should analyze them to see if they're real. <laughs> Roxy, can you analyze these crystals? I want to know if they're real for tonight. Oh dear me, I have to make it myself. crystal sample is coming back negative. Those crystals are definitely not fortunate, Tatiana. All the crystals in the trunk are fakes, but what about the broken one in the crystal room? Could have that that have been a fake too? Oh my gosh, maybe we should have like checked. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should have checked. Where do I put these stairs? Oh, I didn't realize. I forgot I could rotate it. Another secret door. In the dining room. Okay. Are there footprints in there? Well, there probably wouldn't be. Let's analyze. So it leads us to the dining room. Roxy, I've got another Fortnite sample for you to analyze. It has not been destroyed. Someone stole it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
that. <laughs> it kind of was working. it more hard. Fake Tatiana, there's no fortunate in that sample. That broken fortunate crystal isn't even real. This whole crime was a setup. Carl was set up. Carl was framed, I should tell Violet. Yo, Zoe did it, actually. Like, I don't know why. I've solved the case. Wonderful. Let's gather everyone and settle this once and for all. <laughs> Darling, what are we doing here? I thought the matter was settled. Yes, so did I. Completely settled. Ooh, you're really mad. Exactly the way you wanted it to look, Madame Zoe. Since you are the one who told Carl to destroy the board tonight. What? That's ridiculous. You can't prove it. I can and will. We were so, like, slave for that. Here's what really happened. We know that Carl broke the crystal with his silver hammer, but Zoe forced him to do it. We found one of Zoe's feathers outside of a vent in the attic. It was the perfect place to whisper hypnotic suggestions down to Carl while he slept. So I was just sleepwalking, but I still destroyed Cyrus' crystal. Not necessarily. We found a secret passage in the mansion that was hiding a trunk. It was full of fake crystals. Using that same secret passage, Zoe snuck into the crystal room and swapped the real Fortunite with one of the fakes. And then hypnotized Carl into doing the dirty work. So that means I only just tried a fake? Yep, the real Fortunite crystal is perfectly safe. Isn't it, Madame Zoe? Huh. Very clever, Tatiana. Here's the real crystal. You were just giving it up? I'd expect you to run. Incredible. But how did you come to suspect Madame Zoe? I knew something didn't feel right as soon as Buddy and I arrived. We were promised dinner and the will reading, but Zoe was surprisingly eager to get everyone into the crystal room. Yeah, it was weird. She knew that as soon as everyone saw the smashed crystal, they would lose interest and go home. Right, pal? Exactly, Buddy. She wanted everyone gone so she could keep the crystal and the mansion to herself. Then she must have suspected that she sh wouldn't inherit the estate. In fact, I'll bet she knew. Madame Zoe peeked into the fortune a little early, fortunate a little early to see who would be named in the will. Only you didn't like what you saw, did you, Zoe? Would you please hand your uncle's will to Buddy? Ooh, snap. Let's see. I, Cyrus Bordeaux, being of sound mind, do hereby entrust the entirety of my estate. <gasps> Miss to Miss Violet Nightshade. Her? Whoa, the cruel ladies of fate have left poor Trevor empty handed yet again. Congratulations, Violet. You can keep the house and that miserable crystal. There must be more fortunate out there somewhere. And I'm going to find it. Hey. Yo, we need a rest her. It's okay, buddy. I don't think we'll see her again. Tatiana, thank you so much for all you've done. May I walk you out to your jet? That's so slay, being walked to the jet. 
I trust you can all see yourselves out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and file that as the worst dinner party ever. <laughs> There's still one thing I haven't figured out. What is the connection between your family and Cyrus? I suppose there's no harm in telling you. My mother and Cyrus were good friends. My sister and I used to play here all the time when we were younger. Oh my gosh, it's baby puppy. That's so adorable. That's why you prefer... refer to him as Uncle Cyrus. Yes, he was like family, but there was more. He and my mother were both part of a special project. Is this a project? It's the research project with the fortune and the crown, all the evil that happened. How that, how um, Mr. P got turned into a yeti. A group that researched the properties of the Fortunite. The same group that made the crown of nightmares. Yes, I'm surprised you've heard of it. Cyrus and the others worked very hard to keep that a secret. That crown is evil. It can do terrible things. I'm unveiling, un I'm unliving proof of that. The first time it was used, I turned into a miserable creature you see before you. And one of the other scientists, Paul, was transformed into a monster. Ah, uh, yay, yeah. Hey, so we can keep your fortunate? What? Let me, buddy. <laughs> Violet, Marcubus is after the crown of nightmares. We think he's been trying to manufacture his own fortunate, so it turns people into monsters. Marcubus, I remember him from the lab. He was terrible to us. We heard that he was in a fight with the others in the group. Oh, yes. Once they realized how dangerous the Nightmare Crown was, they pledged to destroy it. Morcubus was furious. He wanted to keep the crown for himself. Why does he need the Fortunite? I think it was supposed to focus the energy that went into the crown. It was part of what gave the crown its power. Violet, if you let us keep the Fortunite, we promise to do everything we can to keep it safe. Well, you've helped Carl, Carl even when the evidence was stacked against him. I think I can trust you. Also, we're special agents. I feel like we should mention that. But be careful. Marcubus cannot be allowed to get the crown. But what if he just makes his own crown? He can't. Maybe he could make a powerful enough crystal to replace the Fortunite, but the crown is unique. So he can't do anything unless he finds the actual crown. Do you know where it is? No one knows. Cyrus only led the research on the Fortunite. The actual crown was created by Dr. Gray. Evelyn's dad? <gasps> and this is why Evelyn was targeted in our very first mission. Or, well, our first episode. In our first few missions. But he disappeared, and the Nightmare Crown disappeared with him. Keep the crystal safe, Tatiana. Guys, what if Evelyn's gonna double cross us? I don't know, I just got that thought. I don't remember anything, honestly, past this point, but story-wise very much. I remember the beach level, but story-wise, I don't remember a lot, so I'm kind of like also experiencing it again with you guys. Keep the crystal safe, Tatiana, and don't underestimate Morcubus. Thank you, Violet. What if she was like, if I brought him the stuff he'd give me my dad? I can see that. I can see that. Take her, guys. But would Evelyn do that? Like, Evelyn's been our rock this whole time. So the Nightmare Crown turned Carl and Paul into monsters. That's what it does. Once they realized that, they tried to destroy it. But Morcubus was like, nah, I'm gonna keep it. And I'm really glad I met Carl. I never saw a real zombie before. He's actually a really nice guy, you know, for a shambling undead monstrosity. Uh, this, for this fortunate crystal is a great memento to add to my trophy case. <sighs> Excuse me. Good job. You've now got some new recruits available. Trevor, Gordon, Zoe, Miss Nicole, Carl, and Violet. Oh my gosh, we have so many people we can send on missions. This jacket has both form and function. Real winner. Nice surfing outfits. Ooh, so we're going to the beach next. It's my favorite place. And summer swimwear. And new missions. Well, we got the crystal, but how are we going to find the actual crown? My father's journal hasn't given me any clues on what we're looking for, and I've nearly read it cover to cover. Hmm. If Marcubus finds out that we got to the Fortunite, he'll redouble his effort to get the Nightmare Crown. What if he's already searching for it? Hey, he might be. Let's see if Morcucorp has any new projects in the city. It might point us in the right direction. That's a brilliant idea. To the internet. 
to the internet. I've got something. Yo, Jenny always got her back. It looks like a new MUBA shop just opened on the boardwalk. What's a MUBA shop? It's a scuba shop, but it's owned and operated by Morky Corp. <laughs> a MUBA. Morky Corp scuba? MUBA? These guys aren't even trying anymore. <laughs> What's Morky was looking for at the beach? I don't know. We should go check it out. Feel like talking feel like taking a trip to the beach, buddy? Yes, boardwalk food. I'm gonna get a turkey on a fork. Oh sure, you guys go to the beach. Lots of hard work to do at the beach. I'll just sit behind this desk. Jenny, why don't you take the rest of the day off and hit the beach? We are so slow for giving her the day off. Thanks, but I need the day off to update my blog. Have fun though. <laughs> Evelyn, keep searching for clues in your father's journal. There's got to be something we can use. Bunny, let's catch the next train to the boardwalk. <laughs>